Hi, my name's Rowan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. I thought I'd come and check in with you, see how you are. Um, I'm doing all right. How are you diddling? Um, last vlog that I did was all about six uh, dress patterns that I wanted to make. And thank you for the love that I've had over on there. It's been really interesting to see everybody's opinions on some of the fabrics that I gave as options for one of my dresses. And I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. So what am I wearing today? I am just in my joggers. I'm still off from work. I have to go back to work very soon. I've been very much enjoying my time off. I've just got some Hudson uh, pants on and I've also got a page hoodie on um, because it's blooming cold here. So yeah, this is just a white plain hoodie with a little, little cherry um motif and red drawstrings and some scrap fabric that i had so it all kind of ties in it's one of my favorite page hoodies as well um but it's getting a little bit worn now i do have two other ones but this is my favorite so i might need to make some more of them but i'm praying for some sunshine we're just getting here in the uk nothing but rain <laughs> with the odd really random sunny day thrown in for good measure so yeah Never mind. See, I thought I'd come and have like a bit of a catch up video with you because I know I mentioned um, at the beginning of my dresses vlog that I was going away for a little while with the husband, which was really lovely, but I didn't have a chance to kind of talk to you about it. So I thought I'll pop back on because I've had a few things through the post. I've had some lovely gifts given to me. So yeah, I just thought I'd come and show you because I'm nosy and I want to know what other people have purchased. So I thought you might want to see, see the same. But before I go on, I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, a company that I think might be of interest to you. So before we go any further, I wanted to talk to you about Craftsy. Now, you may have heard about Craftsy before. I have kind of seen them around and I've never really managed to explore what they're all about. But they did reach out to me a while ago and asked if I wanted to work with them. So I jumped at the chance because I wanted to explore what they had to offer. Now, if you don't know who Craftsy are, they're basically an online resource for everything creative. And I mean everything. So they have over 2000 classes online over more than 20 categories. So you've got things like sewing, crocheting, knitting, photography, cake decorating, you name it, they've got it. And basically they have classes online that are taught by experts in the field and they're broken down into nice manageable little chunks and you get to understand all about tips and tricks and things like that. So for example, you've bought an overlocker. We're all scared of an overlocker, aren't we, when we first get one? <laughs> I know I was anyway, but there are courses on there that will teach you all about the very basics of using an overlocker. So there would be no reason to be scared of your overlocker anymore. So yeah, there's lots of things like that. Or for example, if you wanted to learn how to crochet, but there weren't any local classes in your area, you can do it in the comfort of your own home with your own equipment, with someone guiding you along that's an expert in that field. So there is a plethora of classes on there that are worth exploring. But do you want to see what I've been using it for anyway? So a while ago, myself and my friend decided we we're going to make a quilt. Now, I know I'm a garment maker, <laughs> but we decided we were going to have a go at a baby quilt just as a starter for 10 to see how we got on. We downloaded like a free pattern off the Internet, but the instructions were so basic that after we did the front of the quilt, we kind of left it because we we're a bit nervous about what to do next. So I decided that that was what I was going to start doing with Craftsy to see if I could get to the next level. And I have done. So I'll show you here. This was the front of my quill. I know it's very bright and bold because it's very much like me. <laughs> but this is basically the quilt that I've done so far. It's only small, so it is only a baby quilt. But like I say, we'd only done the front of it. So I'll pop, pop in some video in here. You'll be able to see what I was doing. But I wanted to understand how to do the batting on the wadding kind of thing on the back of the of the quilt so I've been doing all of that and then I also wanted to understand what I needed to do in regards to um, doing the binding around the quilt as well now I've always been a little bit nervous about it because like I say the instructions instructions basically said just attach the binding just a touch the wadding and the back of the quilt and I was kind of like I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing so it's been really good I basically was listening um, and watching the video whilst doing it so I was kind of doing it alongside the um, 
tutor. And the one that I did was Quilting 101, who's been, which is taught by Libs Elliot, and she was fabulous. She broke it down into nice, easy, manageable chunks, but they weren't too long either, which was perfect for me. It was kind of very neat, tidy and very visual. So, yeah, it worked very well for me. So, yeah, I'll be showing you some footage of that, but I'm really pleased. So the only thing that I've got left now to do is to attach my purple binding. So I've just got to cut these into strips. I've just been watching the video on what to do next. I've got to cut these into strips, attach them all together, and then I can attach them to my quilt. And when I was watching the video, it was talking about hand basting and um, hand stitching the binding down to make it a nice finish and a nice kind of project to do maybe in front of the TV. So that's my next step and my quilt's going to be finished. And I felt like someone was kind of holding my hand as well along the way. So the other things I'd really like to do with Craftsy is learn to draw and paint. I've always wanted to do that. I've always kind of said I would love to do watercolour painting, but I'm not that creative in that regard if you know what I mean so I'm really looking forward to trying that out next as well and the lovely people at Craftsy have also given me a offer for you guys as well so the first thousand people to click on the description at uh, the link in the description box below will be given one year full premium membership to Craftsy for $1.49 I know I actually converted that into uh, GBP and that is around £1.17 <laughs> So I think that's a really good deal. <laughs> I would be clicking on that link if it was me. So yeah, so the first thousand people that click the link in the description box below will get the full premium membership for one year for $1.49. So go, go, go. So I'd just like to say thank you very much, Craftsy, for sponsoring this video. Right, so let's get back into it. What do you want to see first? Do you want to see what I've been buying? <laughs> that's always what I want to see. Um, did anybody get anything in the Fabric Godmother sale? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Was it just me? When the email comes through to say that they're having a sale, I'm always like, oh no. I don't think I've ever been able to resist a sale from Fabric Godmother because I love their fabric so much. Um, and their sales are always really good. They're always quite deep cut promotions. So I've got a pile of stuff here. <laughs> and the way I justified it to myself, <laughs> let me know if you do the same, is I bought some fabrics for my mum for me to make things for my mum. It made me feel better. I've got my little receipt here, so I will, um, I'll talk you through it. I also had a gift voucher as well of £50 for Fabric Godmother, so the stars had aligned. So yeah, I bought a couple of fabrics for my mum. So what, the reason I did it is because one of the fabrics I wanted to buy for mum quite a while ago, but it was really expensive. I'm still quite pricey, even with the amount that I need for what I want to make for her, even in the sale. But I thought now's the time. So the first one I got um, is for my mum and it's this one. I mean, if you knew my mum, you would know that this is her all over. And this is a fleeced back sweatshirt, which is her absolute favourite. It's a poppy fabric as well, so you know the quality is good, but it feels beautiful. So every year I've made her one or two um, Jarra sweaters by Megan Nielsen in this kind of fabric. My mum feels the cold like no other person on earth so this is absolutely perfect for her and she wears them all the time so I think she's got three now so I thought I'm going to get this while it's in the sale and then I'm going to make her one up this year as well so how beautiful is that it's got like a, a mid blue but then it's got like a turquoisey blue a paler blue and then it's got this gorgeous lilac-y pink navy Oof. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I'm a bit annoyed at myself for not getting myself some because I really do like that. And there's like pops of orange as well. So that was, how much was that one? A Daisy Sherpa Fleece Navy uh, was £7.99 um, per half metre. So that came out at £31.96, which is quite still quite expensive because I got two metres of it. But I just think for a jumper that I know my mum will wear to death. It was absolutely a necessity. <laughs> now, the fabric that I had seen for ages and wanted to buy my mum is this one that I'm going to show you next. And it's just beautiful. Oh, oh, it's just so lovely. And it's a Sherpa fleece in this like navy with these cream coloured flowers on. And I think they had this in like a mauvey colour as well. Can't remember if there's another one, but it's very similar to the Sherpa fleece that I bought from there last time, which I haven't made up yet, which was the animal print one. 
in like a caramel and cream colour. But this has got my mum's name written all over it. So I would really like to make her like a zip up. Um, not necessarily, well, yeah, maybe like a hoodie zip up type of thing. I don't want one that you pull on over your head that's like a half zip because my mum can't stand those. You know, like this is kind of like a pull on over your head. Um, she, she would much prefer one that's got a zip in it. So if anybody's got any recommendations for like a really good fleecy jacket pattern that has got a zip up the front that would be great if you could pop it in the comment section down below because she's gonna love that so when she came the other day i said oh do you want to come and see the fabrics i've bought for you and she was like what you bought me fabrics and when i showed her she was just like <gasps> like i am over pink and red fabric that's what she was like over this so what did that come to so i completely lied as well actually <laughs> Completely lied about that last fabric. That last fabric wants seven nine. It was four ninety nine per half meter. That one, and I bought one and a half meters of it to make the Jara sweater. So it was only fourteen pound ninety seven. That's not bad, is it, for that fabric? This was the one that was thirty one ninety six because it came out at seven ninety nine per half meter. But I think before it was like quite a bit more than that. So it was a big chunk of that off. But I thought, do you know what, thirty one ninety six to be able to make a really nice, beautiful. Um, fleece jacket for my mum would be great i was gonna just i was gonna try and risk it and go for one and a half meters but then i chickened out and i thought don't regret something so i got two meters of that one so they're my mum's fabrics that i'm gonna make for her and obviously while i was on there i was like well i might as well i can't remember if fabric godmother do free delivery if it's over a certain amount i don't think i hit that but the delivery was really good anyway so i got three fabrics and they're all plain See what? <laughs> I know. So I got this gorgeous fabric. Oh, it's so nice. Can you see it's got almost like a sheen on it? Sheen. I don't know why I said it like that. This is, let me work there. What is this? <laughs> a 100% Lyocell chambray in sky blue. How beautiful is that? And that worked out at 2 99 per half metre. So less than six quid a meter and it's absolutely beautiful i do have a chambray but i don't have um that's a similar color to this that i put down as one of my options for my dress pattern if you'd seen my last video um, and i'd forgotten all about that but i bought three meters of this because i do want to make like almost like a denim dress but in a more flowy fabric and i thought this would be perfect and i thought for that price so that came out at £17.94 for three metres, which I thought was an absolute bargain. And it's really beautiful, beautiful quality as well. So I got that. And then I got a couple of other plain fabrics. I don't know what's coming over me all of a sudden. Don't worry, I'll make up for it in a minute. <laughs> I got this one, which is beautiful. It's like a textured cotton. And I'm a sucker for when Josie does the Instagram stories. Um and puts them on her grid um, whenever she's got anything like this on. And this, I actually thought was white, and it's it's named as white, but it, it isn't white. If you put that up against my um, top, it's definitely cream, this. Um, I wouldn't even say it's an off-white, it's definitely cream, but I really like it anyway. But on the front of the Chalk and Notch Wren blouse, they use a fabric very similar to this and it reminded me of it. And I'm also a little bit in love at the moment with shirts. So I thought that might come in handy. And this one was £2.99 per half metre. So I got two metres for £11.96. I mean, it'd be rude not to. But isn't that lovely? All that detail on there. Love, love, love. And then the last one I got was also a plain fabric. And it's just a plain white Dobby fabric. So you can see the little raised up little tufts of fabric there that is definitely white <laughs> and this one was again 2.99 per half meter so i got two meters of it for 11.96 i mean hello how beautiful is that so really beautiful quality fabrics normally I have an idea of exactly what i want to make when i buy fabrics but i just got a bit excited by the sale and i thought well plain fabrics i can pretty much do anything with so you got any ideas let me know <laughs> so that was in total 88 pound 79 which is a lot of fabric isn't it for 88 pound i was quite happy with that shipping was only two pound 50 and i had a gift certificate of 50 pounds so it only cost me 41 pound 29 so i was well happy with that 
Uh, and then the other thing that I've got fabric wise to show you is this little cheeky bundle here. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Those colours make me so blooming happy. <laughs> I love them, which is very similar to kind of what I'm wearing when I think about it. Um, but yes, um, as you may know, I am an ambassador with Rainbow Fabrics. I've bought from them for years. Love, love, love them. They tend to do dead stock fabrics. And um, I got a couple of fabrics from their most recent double gauze drop and also a couple from their viscose drop. <gasps> and they're beautiful. We'll start off with the double gauze. I got a plain white. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful and soft as well, this. It's gorgeous. These have all been washed, so they might be a bit more crinkly than normal. But how lovely is that? I mean, you can't go wrong with white double gauze. And then I also got a pink one. <laughs> Look at that pink. I mean, there's threads everywhere. Isn't that gorgeous? And some double gauzes can be a little bit rough, but this one's not. It's really beautiful and soft and saves the way. Now, I don't know what to make. In my head, everything that is screaming out to me is pyjamas, pyjamas, pyjamas. Um, but I've got quite a bit of the pink one because I loved my red plum cocoara dress so much. I'm kind of even considering just doing another copy, but in uh, pink. But the other part of me is thinking that I could use this to make like a mix, mix mash, match set of pyjamas because I just think that would look really gorgeous don't really want white necessarily on the top because the old boobies you know if you can see through it you don't need that d in your pajamas but i was thinking something where maybe it's patchwork i don't know what do you think that was my idea anyway and then i got these beautiful viscoses i'm going to save the next one till the best one till last this is the first one. Oh, it is beautiful the colors in this are just gorgeous and it's a tie-dye um viscose and it feels divine. It is so nice. Almost feels like it could be like a cotton viscose blend. It's so soft. It's almost like brushed. Yeah, but in this like bright red tie dye. Loved it. Um, and I did think straight away salt water slip. <laughs> I know. It's by Friday Vatican Company. But I wore one on my recent trip to London and loved it so much. And it's just got me thinking about it again. But I do maybe want to make it in the next size up because my other ones are a little bit tight now and then the best to last is this one i'll just show you a quick peek oh, if there was ever ever a fabric that was made for me it is this one this girl's pink and red animal print i mean could you get any better oh it's gorgeous oh, i've even considered going on and buying more of it so that i've got like backup <laughs> fabric because it's just it's just divine to me in fact already in my head i'm thinking just do it so i've got three meters of this and this will be coming in a video very soon um because i may be doing this in collaboration with somebody else i won't say any more but isn't that beautiful and don't forget as well you can um get 20 percent off um, all your bits and bobs of rainbow fabrics I'll pop there link in the description box below if you use the code VIP exclamation mark Ruan I'll try and remember to put it here and I'll pop it in the description box as well below but if you go on there you do um, get 20% off your order and I get a very small little commission because I'm an ambassador for them how lovely is that so they were my purchases now um I waffle on a little bit about London, shall I? Because I know I mentioned it before and I put a few things on my Instagram and loads of people were asking me questions. So I'll just quickly, briefly go on that. Uh, so myself and my husband went away for two nights. We haven't been away together since before COVID. So it was amazing. Um, we've always struggled before as well because if you followed my channel, you'll know that my granddad was um, ill for quite some time so uh, my mum and stepdad were caring for him and I was caring for him as well to help them out so it's very difficult from like a childcare overnight type of perspective um so my mum and stepdad did look after my boys for me while we went away and enjoyed ourselves and the main reason we were going to London is because we always always wanted to go to the Chelsea Flower Show massively on our bucket list and instead of going away, away abroad, we decided to do that instead. So this year, as a family, instead of going and doing like a really nice summer holiday, but later on in the year, because we will have to go in um, out of school um, time 
because my eldest is going up to high school in September. Um, when we looked at prices, it was just astronomical. So we decided we were going to do some other things with the money instead this year and just do a few little bits instead. So one of them was to go to the Chelsea Flower Show. But we made the most of it. Um, hotel prices were ridiculous. So we went before the Chelsea Flower Show. So we went down on the Sunday on the train. We met up with two of my best friends who live kind of further down south than me. And we went out for a meal on the Sunday evening and had just the best evening. It was just lovely. We laughed. It was just brilliant. Then Monday we woke up and the sun shone. It was just the most beautiful day. We had a mooch around Portobello Market. We went up into the Opera House um, on the edge of Covent Garden and had a glass of wine and looked out over the whole of Covent Garden. Honestly, it was beautiful. We went and had lunch outside at Sticks and Sushi at Covent Garden where we've eaten before. I actually got a little bit sunburned on my chest what's that all about it was just beautiful and then we went into Covent Garden and we went and sat and had a drink in the Punch and Judy bar there just some really lovely things and then we woke up early Tuesday morning we were going to fly over to King's Cross to drop our bags there so we didn't have to worry about them and I'm not joking when I say the weather forecast was rubbish <laughs> It was freezing. Now, before we'd gone, I packed a cardigan because I was like, well, I'll just take one just in case because the weather forecast said it was going to be like between 21 and 24 degrees the whole time we were there. So I'd taken sandals to wear and all sorts. So I had to not do that. I, but I was in my saltwater slip dress with my Bertha cardigan over the top and my little Converse pumps because I couldn't put my sandals on. And I was freezing. But anyway, we headed then over to Covent Garden uh, to um, the Chelsea Flower Show we got in and the skies were grey and it was really cold um, and I drank a lot of hot chocolate to keep warm but we had a really nice time. Within seconds we saw Nikki Chapman, she was interviewing somebody there, they then turned the camera around to us lot which we were all clapping like that and we were on telly. <laughs> Everybody was messaging us later, I'm sure I've just seen you at the Chelsea Flower Show. I was like, that's me. So we did have a lovely time. Um, my opinion on it, I think it would probably have been a much better day had it been sunshine like the day before. The day before was stunning and I think we'd have stayed there for a lot longer. We ended up cutting our day short because um, the heavens opened at 11 o'clock and they just didn't stop at all <laughs> for that day and the day after at least. So it did put a bit of a downer on it, I've got to admit. Now, we went on an RHS members day, which is supposed to be a little bit quieter, but it was still really, really busy. Um, it was quite difficult to see the gardens because it was like two or three people deep around all of the edges. You could do it, just had to be really patient. But there were some rude people there that were very much elbows in and getting on with it, if you know what I mean. And I'm a bit more placid. I can't be bothered with that. Uh, we went inside. There's a huge huge area that's indoors which is incredible and we went in there before it started raining and it was lovely in there so we were looking at um like beautiful flower arrangements and peonies and um oh gosh I can't even remember there were so many of them David Austin roses that type of thing gladioli it was just stunning but within 20 minutes we were like what's that noise and it was rain on the roof and then everybody just flooded in and we were like Oh no. So then it got quite a bit claustrophobic almost in there, even though it was a huge place because there were so many people in there. So we got our umbrella out, which I'd had to buy it <laughs> at King's Cross that morning for £20 because there was only Oliver Bonus open. It's a beautiful umbrella, by the way. Um, and then we went out and had a potter around everywhere. But it just it was just disappointing because A, it was cold and B, it was raining. Um, bless my husband, he kept saying to me the whole time, do you want my hoodie? I'll put my hoodie on, I'm, I'm all right, I'm all right, but I wouldn't let him. It did warm up a little bit, but it was, um, they had like a big grandstand type thing there, which I wanted to go and see one of the shows that was on, and there was like little champagne bars everywhere, and little ice cream parlours, it was fabulous, really nice like little foodie, street food type things. But anyway, yeah, it just ruined it a little bit for us. And I think maybe we'll just stick to the Harrogate Flower Show in the future. But I'm glad I've done it because it's been ticked off my bucket list. And me and the husband had the most amazing time. Anyway, I'm sorry if you weren't interested in that. And I have rambled on about it. But uh, I know a few people have been asking me my opinion. It's very expensive and very busy. So do with that what you will, if you know what I mean. Right. What else? So um, I've been gifted a couple of lovely things. Shall I show you one of them? 
This is one of them. Some little labels. Look at these. So these are from the Cozy Club Handmade. Just trying to get these out. And she sent me a lovely little selection of labels. And they're absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I've already put one into a garment. So there's this one. Sewing is my superpower. I mean, daisies. Can you get any better? This took a long time to make <laughs> with a sausage dog. And then on the back, it says this is the back. Uh, <laughs> love this. Solutions were found. Oops, mistakes were made. Solutions were found. This one I like. This took forever, forever to make. The little cat, perfectly imperfect. Uh, this one, better than bought. Handmade with love. I love the fact that they're double-sided. Hey, you are amazing. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? I've got your back. Um, What's this one? Cute outfit, babe. In the purple daisies on the back, it says, thanks, I made it. And then this one, which is like almost like a patch, really. And it says, I made this, therefore I can do anything. Aren't they beautiful? And they're really lovely quality, I have to admit. So thank you so much for sending those to me. The lovely lady who owns it lives in Malta. So we're having a really good chat about Malta because uh, I've been to quite close to where she lives. Um, so yeah, I'll pop um, a link in the description box below if you want to go and check them out. But that is the Cozy Club Handmade. Beautiful. And then can you remember, I went, uh, sorry, we were going to the gathering and my lovely friend Agnes and Lucy came and stayed with me and they sent me a little present to say thank you and I was kind of like you didn't need to do that because I just loved having you here it was wonderful it felt like I had my gang around me you know but anyway they sent me a lovely little present to say thank you for putting them up so you didn't have to get a hotel little darlings and you could tell they don't really well look at this I've actually seen this before and wanted it um, and never actually ended up buying it. But look at that. I mean, again, animal print, rainbows, cross stitch. Hello. How lovely is that? And that is from The Make Arcade. So if I can find a link to it, again, I'll pop that in the description box. But that also includes the hoop and then you can frame it in that at the end as well. So it's got everything that you need in there. Only thing you need is a good pair of scissors and tea and cake. <laughs> Sounds good to me. If she's telling me I've got to do it, then I've got to do it. Assuming it's a she. So thank you very much, Lucy and Agnes. I really appreciate that, but you didn't need to do it. Thank you. Right, what else have I got to tell you while I'm down here? Oh, yes. So then, fabric-wise, for the collab with the lovely uh, Stacey J Studio, um, thank you very much for everybody who's voted. There was a lot of votes. And I can't believe I could only put four things on the poll on my community tab for you to just decide which fabric I was going to use but anywho without a doubt the main winner was the Monstera Leaf Viscose fabric so that is what I'm going to be making the style arc palmer dress in second was the um the navy blue and pale blue patterned fabric um, a lot of people liked that even though it wasn't on the poll I had to kind of try and work out how many people had commented it and then work out what the percentage would be for that but the Monster Relief definitely pipped it to the post. So I'm going to have to be brave and just cut into that fabric. And thank you so much for everybody that's put very nice supportive comments on that video about, don't worry, you've got it. Stylark, yes, the instructions might not be that great, but you'll do it, no problem. So thank you for your confidence in me. I really do truly appreciate it. Not so sure I feel like that about it right now, but, you know. And I also wanted to say um, thank you to a few people that bought me a coffee as well. So I just wanted to say thank you to Sue, Debbie and Karen. Thank you very much for my coffees. They are truly appreciated. Um, some of them sent enough coffees for them to actually turn into a cocktail. Just saying. Um, but yeah, Karen is the lovely Karen who's also got a YouTube channel and she is made by Karen Marie. So I'll pop her youtube channel as well in my description go over and head over and give her some love she lives in norway 
so yeah i just sent over to her her so frugal prize as well because she won a prize which is wonderful so yeah and last of all thank you very much to you guys for subscribing for liking for commenting everything like that really means a lot to me and also for supporting me with any of my sponsored content as well it truly is appreciated and it's just a really nice thing for you guys to do so i just wanted to say thank you so yeah hit the like button if you like this video and hopefully i'll see you again very soon take care bye